Hello Travelers. Today we're going to talk about cooling a mining room specifically with air conditioning. Why do people deal with all the hassles associated with airflow? The dirt, the dust, the bugs, the pollen, the debris from outside, the worry of rain infiltration, moisture causing condensation, damage to your hardware, debris clogging up the heat sinks and fans and degrading performance requiring maintenance all the large openings required to push all this air through this building. Why would you deal with that when you could just take a portable air conditioner and throw it down, a window air conditioner, a mini split air conditioner? Makes sense, right? I see this comment a lot and it shows a critical misunderstanding of how air conditioners work. Air conditioners do not make cold air. They pump heat, somewhat similar to how a fan works. It'll take heat and blow it somewhere else. However, the magic of air conditioners is through the refrigeration cycle, they could take heat, push it uphill, basically. So you could take a room, you could grab heat from it, which will make the air feel colder, and you could push it outside, even though it's hotter outside. So that's why your portable air conditioners have a hose that goes outside, and that air is super hot. If you don't connect that hose and you just throw a portable air conditioner down, it'll heat the room up. Because 100% effectively of its power gets converted into heat. Same with these GPUs. It's very easy to know how much cooling power you need. All this hardware is almost always 100% effective at heating. That's because basically everything that comes in isn't destroyed, doesn't go anywhere, it just gets changed. It doesn't matter, it's doing work in the meantime. That's irrelevant, it doesn't take any of the power away. All the power in equals heat out. The only time you don't have 100% is in something like, say, a speaker where some of the sound goes outside. Then maybe it's 99 point something percent. Or a light bulb where some of the light goes outside and you lose some energy there. But most electronic devices assume if they take 100 watts, they make 100 watts of heat. Okay? So it's very easy to understand how much cooling capacity you need to get the job done. And there's another point, capacity. Air conditioners aren't unlimited in their ability to pump. They could only move so much heat so fast. And there's a rating for this. Conveniently enough, it's typically BTUs per hour. Sometimes it's tons, but they're basically the same thing. One ton is 12,000 BTU. One ton running for one hour is 12,000 BTUs per hour, right? And you can look at the conversion here. One watt is approximately 3.4 BTUs per hour. So you convert your total GPU power consumption into BTUs. So my room here behind me here is about 10 kilowatts, which is about 34,000 BTUs per hour. So that means I need at least 34,000 BTUs. And that won't make the room cold. That'll just take the heat and push it all outside. If you actually want to cool the room below outside, there's going to be heat leaking into the building from other sources and whatnot, and the air conditioner won't be typically 100% effective because a lot of this energy may go to actually removing humidity, which takes the power away from the air conditioner. So you actually need more than this 34,000 if you actually want to make the room cool. So we can look at typical units here, like maybe a 36,000 BTU air conditioner, $3,000 price point. And here's a more efficient 36,000 BTU air conditioner, $5,000, right? And you look at the efficiencies of these units. You could convert EER or SEER, which these are often rated in, to COP, and then that's a direct conversion. You can see the conversion ratio there. Basically, it's the same thing here. Just there's a little more resolution on that one. And that allows you to take an actual estimate of how much heat these will pump in watts. 2.9 COP means that for every one watt in, 2.9 watts get pumped. So it sounds pretty efficient, right? These are sort of like 300% or 370% efficient, sort of. But still, that's a bit of a problem because you look at my room back here, 10 kilowatts, it'll take around two and a half to five kilowatts to cool it with a typical COP of two to four. This is more or less the range you typically see. Most air conditioners don't really go above four, and they typically are very expensive. You pay a lot for efficiencies, so it's trouble. You can get more efficiency to save money on power, but it costs you money up front. And if you do the math, you'll get the difference here. 
$3,000 to $5,000 in initial purchase price. This isn't installed. This doesn't include a wine set or electrical, a pad, any of the installation mounts. That could easily add $1,000 or so, even if you DIY it. And if you have a professional, it might be two, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 extra. So this could easily be a $10,000, $12,000 system installed. And if you look at the difference in EER on these, these are only, this is a 10, and this guy is a 12.6. So not a huge difference, but a massive difference in cost, right? It adds an extra $2,000. $2,000 of electricity is a lot, and it only brings your COP from 2.9 to 3.7, right? So for my example here, my room, this unit right here, this more efficient unit, would take around, we'll call it four and a half, five kilowatts even, to cool the room I have here. That puts out around 10 kilowatts of heat. 5,000 watts to cool this. And comparatively, I have this fan system here. Now you may have noticed it just reduced its fan speed given the outdoor temperature. This consumes around 200 to 600 watts. Massive difference in power consumption. Typically airflow is in the range of an order of magnitude. That means 10 times less power consumption for the same heat being pumped. Right. There's quite a few reasons for that, but you can see right now the conditions this thing's running in. It's around 74 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and it's 90 degrees inside. And that's more or less its target conditions. And it maintained the temperature just fine over the course of a day. The differential was actually fairly steady. So this fan is multiple times lower cost takes around 10 times less power. The downside is you do need to deal with those concerns I mentioned previously. You need to worry about humidity, causing potentials for condensation, damage to the hardware in other ways. You need to worry about the airflow pulling in debris with it, pollen, bugs, all kinds of outsourced stuff. And that means you need to filter it, potentially temper it as well with warmer air to reduce the humidity. Um, and of course you need to deal with physically routing it, aligning it, pushing it, all the things. Large openings in the building to be able to move this much air. So there's ups and downs. And the dream of course would be air conditioning. Because you could just put a unit in the wall, run some small tubes to an outdoor unit. And you don't really have to worry about it. But especially for mining where your profit is so heavily based on how efficient you could run. How much power you take and what your power costs. Increasing your power consumption 25 to 50% is kind of ridiculous for cooling unless you have no choice. Fans are the way to go. They're typically thousands of dollars cheaper and they typically save you around 50% on your total operational cost. So really is no way. It's just a math thing. If you get a low power air conditioner, it won't do anything really in a, in a room with enough power. Power is power, it's gotta go somewhere. It doesn't just disappear. You put a little window air conditioner in here, it'll put out cold air, but it'll do nothing in this room. Uh, the typical small window air conditioners might be four, five, 6,000 BTU. And when you have somewhere in the range of like five times that in heat blowing into the room or 10 times that in heat, that will do nothing, the win little window air conditioner. So kinda is what it is. Air conditioning is very expensive and totally unpractical unless you really need temperature control and you need good atmospheric controls so you can't deal with bugs and all that stuff. If you have hardware that's very expensive, that must be up 24 seven, like say a server environment where maybe you get paid a little bit more than just a multiple of your electric bill, maybe it makes sense. But for mining hardware, a lot of times, especially currently, you don't make that much more than a few times over your electric costs. So increasing your electric costs two times or 50% are just ridiculous. It's not really practical is what it is. So that uh, I hope is a reasonable explanation why people don't really use air conditioning. And if you do use air conditioning, like maybe you have a few of these rigs in your house and you cool your house with air conditioning, uh, it just might give you some understanding of how to estimate how much load that's putting on your air conditioner, and you can guesstimate what that's costing you to run. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I read all your comments. 
Maybe you have any suggestions for a future video, you can let me know as well. But until next time, take care guys.